Hello everyone. How are you? I hope you're doing great. Welcome to my channel Alexis Garden. I want to ask, does a still be grow in your garden? I really like this perennial, this plant grows well in shade and partial shade. In this video, I want to show you the astilbe varieties that I grow in my garden. Are you ready to watch it? Let's go! One, a stilby Chinese pumila. Chinese astilbe pumila is a short form of a stilby. Perennial height 15 to 25 centimeters, purple pink inflorescences. This type of a stilby grows quickly and creates beautiful pink lilac carpets. Flowering period August September. The height of an adult plant is 7 to 10 inches or 15 to 25 centimeters. The width of an adult plant is up to 12 inches or up to 30 centimeters. Maximum plant height 27 to 35 inches or 70 to 90 centimeters. A stilby Chinese pumila is a beautiful flowering perennial plant. Leaves are light green at first, then turn deep green. This astilbe has powerful stems and large paniculate inflorescences with lilac or lilac-lilac flowers. Over time, the flowers fade to pink lilac or pale pink. Flowering continues from mid-summer to mid-September. The best place for planting astilbe is the sun and partial shade. Planting in care A stilba Chinese pumila easily adapts to the conditions of your garden. This plant can grow in both sunny and semi-shady areas. Pumila is not very sensitive to drought but does not tolerate overheating of the upper part of the rhizome, so the best way to protect against drought is to mulch the soil. Astilbe Arancii Diamond This is a perennial herbaceous plant with incredibly luxurious large, graceful inflorescences. The flowering period begins at the end of June and lasts 25 to 30 days. The plant gives off a sweet honey scent that attracts bees and butterflies. The wide paniculate flowers are very large, reaching 12 inches or 30 centimeters long and 5 to 8 inches or 14 to 20 centimeters wide, but the plant looks very elegant. Astilba Happy Day A new, very compact variety that blooms in a profusion of white flowers up to 8 inches high, and up to 5 inches in diameter in late spring, and continues to bloom until July. Astilbe Happy Day looks great with plants that have dark leaves or to create accents for other varieties of astilbe. Flowering Period, June-July the height of an adult plant is up to 25 inches or 60 centimeters. This astilbe variety prefers shade and partial shade, but is tolerant of light morning sun and can grow in openwork shade.
4. A Still Be Mighty Chocolate Cherry A Still Be Mighty Chocolate Cherry is a perennial, excellent variety for a shady garden. The inflorescences are velvety red. Flowering in August the leafy part of the bush is about 27 inches or 70 centimeters high, dark green in color with reddish-brown hues. Flower stalks are maroon, about 45 inches or 120 centimeters high. A still be mighty chocolate cherry flowers in August. The best place to plant in the garden is in the shade. This variety is great for containers and flower garden backgrounds. The plant prefers shady or semi-shady places for planting and growing moist, well-drained soil. A still bee can grow in frost-resistant zone 3. 5. A still bee hybrid chocolate shogun. This is a perennial flowering plant for the shady garden. Distinguished by glossy leaves of rich chocolate purple color, which persists throughout the season. The flowers are creamy pink, collected in large paniculate inflorescences. A still be chocolate shogun is used in landscaping as a single plant near shrubs, among conifers, and in flower beds next to hostas, ferns, virginia, and Siberian irises. Plant dimensions, height 20 to 25 inches or 50 to 60 centimeters, with 15 to 20 inches or 40 to 50 centimeters. This is still be variety, prefers partial shade. Planting in care. All astilbees are moisture loving, winter hardy, and resistant to pests and diseases. A still bee can grow in frost resistance zone 3. How, where, and when to grow a still bee? A still bee care. The main requirement for growing a still bee is good soil moisture. This plant loves shady areas, but most modern cultivars do well in full sun as long as there is light midday shading and good, regular watering. A still bee adapts to different types of soil, but prefers loose soils with a high content of humus. A still bee tolerates transplanting well even in a flowering state. The root system of a still bee is superficial, every year the rhizome grows upwards, and over time the bush begins to bulge out of the ground, which is why it suffers from overheating and drying out. A still bee requires an annual sprinkling of loose humus, rotted compost, or leafy soil with a layer of about 2 inches, this will retain moisture in the root zone and protect the plant from overheating. You can also use neutral or slightly acidic peat for mulching. When planting plants, choose a location that has shade at noon, such as from trees or shrubs. The best partners for Astilba are hostas, ferns. I hope this video on how to grow a still bee was useful and interesting. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to give a thumbs up at the bottom and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.